Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of uh, the author series. Today we have Shweta joining in. So Shweta is an author and a coach and yeah, so thank you very much for being here. It's my pleasure having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshit. Yeah, my pleasure again. So before starting, uh, I would like to uh, ask you is if you can give a brief note about yourself and what you do. Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Shweta Samota. I'm an Amazon best-selling author, a story and publishing coach, a marathoner, and a change maker. So uh, I've written five books, actually six books. Yeah, one is uh, traditionally published in five uh, six published books, and uh, I also help authors, budding authors. I've helped over 100 plus authors to write and publish their books, and uh, that's what I do. I read a lot and I write a lot. Okay, okay. And as we, as we before before starting this uh, conversation, we were speaking about what you were doing. So uh, you said I was working in the uh, software engineering thing. So how did you get into being get so you know working in the software industry and then being an author? What was the story behind that? Ah, okay. So um, I've been you know really good in academics right from my childhood, and uh, just FYI, uh, in twelfth standard I scored hundred percent in physics, chemistry, and mathematics. And I was getting admission everywhere. So it was like, since you are really good in, you know, ACADS, you're supposed to take medicine or, uh, you know, engineering. And that This is, you know, a story of 90s when, you know, other professions didn't or weren't uh, so blooming uh, like today. So that time it was but obvious that I had to, you know, I had just two options. And I took up computer engineering that time. And uh, being really good, I got, uh, you know, multiple job offers. Uh, got placed in uh, good companies and uh, then spent like 12 years in uh, the software industry mm -hmm. and uh, uh, then you know being over ambitious i took up a startup i mean i quit my job and had my own startup and i dabbled with multiple business ideas and then it then it hit me what failure yeah so i didn't know how to you know handle failure that okay. was like the first failure of my life mm -hmm. So I never failed ever in everything I did. So I had been, uh, you know, excelling in everything, winning everything, you know, I took in my hands. Uh -huh. So uh, that time I realized that probably, you know, I need to take a step back and really think, you know, what do I really want to do? And uh, my, so all credit goes to my mother uh, because uh, uh, she inculcated this habit of reading books, okay, a lot of books. So I've been a voracious reader since my childhood. I had been also journaling because I saw my mother journaling. So being journaling and blogging uh, right since, you know, I was in school. So journals that time too. Uh, that's when I decided, you know, I, I want to go back uh, to my passion. That is reading and writing. And that's uh -huh. how, you know, my author journey began. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, if you can give a brief note about books you have written and the name and what's the story in a small uh, brief, like what's the story and all those things, that would be great. Okay, so uh, my first uh, is a novella which is Kiss of True Love. Uh, it's like the moment it got released uh, within a month of time, it was in top 100 uh, in romance, which is a very competitive category on Amazon. Uh, it's a story of a girl, uh, you know, who's got a really different notion of finding love, true love. Uh, you know, she's read a lot of fairy tales and she thinks that, you know, she's just one kiss away from true love. So the idea behind the story is that uh, she kisses a, a guy before she decides to go on a date or not. So uh, a kiss before a date. So that's that's what the story is about. This girl Eva. Then then the next two uh, are uh, Radha and Ajay. So their short stories. Uh, you know Amazon keeps coming up with the contest, right? So this was a uh, for uh, Amazon was worthy contest. Okay. So uh, when I participated in this, you know this story was in the top three, I mean, most popular uh, category in Amazon Wordsworthy. It's about a girl who is, you know, uh, traveling for work uh, and on the airport, she finds her, uh, you know, college crush. So, and uh, that's what uh, the story is about, about this girl, uh, Radha. And she, she actually is just seeing, the person doesn't know about her, that, you know, she had a crush on him. And now she's married and she's having a kid as well. So that's what uh, the story is about, you know, Radha and Ajinx, whether she'll take next step, you know, towards the college love or, you know, go back uh, to her uh, married life. So uh, then my fourth book, Nine, which is, you know, a blockbuster thriller. 
like the, you know a mystery romance and thriller uh, book so it's like more like a, a lack words it's like one of my best work so i'm a dan brown fan and uh, i love mixing facts with fiction so it was like in 2014 15 uh, when narendra modi ji started following me on twitter so everybody follows narendra modi but what if he starts following you yeah mm. so uh, he started following me on twitter and i was really you know inspired and zapped and you know you can put a lot of adjectives there that you know i cannot express you know how happy i was i actually i was jumping that you know the prime minister uh, you know he was following me so that time i decided that i want to write about him and uh, i wanted to write you know i wanted to mix biography his biography with fiction so uh, since uh, i saw i had read a lot of dan brown books so that's when this idea came up that why not write something about narendra modi his life with you know a romantic it requires a lot of research for now if i write about narendra modi and don't cover rss and bjp then it's not fair so had to read multiple books uh, on narendra modi had to research about rss now if i don't cover nathuram gorse if i'm talking about rss then it's not complete so uh, that is why it took me you know a long time to cover, cover about mentors of narendra modi about uh, rss about bjp how actually bjp culminated i mean how it started from uh, you know Uh, it didn't start here, so the process of how the journey of uh, BJP, so everything is there in that book. So a lot of classified information also, uh, you know, is mentioned in the book. That's why I couldn't get it uh, traditionally published. So that was how you know nine uh, is. It's a story of Ila Sharma. So I'm I have been a coder. Okay, uh, I'm a coder by heart. So uh, I have uh, written a lot of uh, code during my software, uh, you know, journey mm-hmm. as a software career. So uh, in nine, I have actually dabbled with ASCII codes. Uh, if you know, uh, when you you know when you write C codes, you know. Uh, so I've mixed ASCII codes. Uh, it's a now Dan Brown fan, so had to be you know some decoding and coding has to be there. Some puzzles have to be there. So there are uh, eight puzzles in this book, and this Ila Sharma is a you know a puzzle maniac kind of girl who's really good at decoding things. So then. Uh, Uh, there's one secret book uh, whose uh, the book is by written by I mean the codes are by the national security uh, advisor who was reporting to prime minister okay and uh, the codes are written by him and someone gets hold of this book and he wants to decode what actually he wanted to tell so he died protecting whatever he was protecting and then ila sharma is kidnapped uh, so that she could decode it because she is the only one she is the best you know in the country and probably in the world to decode these things and that's how you know the story unfolds uh, in nine what is you know she is actually i mean the book is actually protecting and then she gets a chance to become a part of cult okay uh, you know illuminati which you know dan brown talks a lot about in his book so uh, i talk about illuminati of india and it's like one of the oldest uh, tribe and which is you know as of today it's a building and that's what i've put in uh, in this book uh, nine about the dimanachi of india and that's about my fourth book uh, my fifth book is a story world so now i told you i coach people to write and publish so uh, this book is written it's a anthology of short stories written by my students and then uh, i've uh, guided them how do you actually write edited it and compile it so that's my fifth book Okay. Okay. And what has been what what have what kind of problems did you see in your journey of being a writer? What what kind of problems did uh, arrive? I'm sorry, it's showing you back with this low. So I put here it was. Uh, okay. 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 No problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Just 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 repeating the question again. What kind of problems did you have in your journey, and what uh, what kind of things did you learn from them? Okay, so obviously, uh, no story is complete, you know, without roadblocks. So even I, I had my set of roadblocks. Like uh, when I started, you know, I didn't know how to publish, and also um, I didn't know that, you know, how have I have to go ahead and contact the traditional publishers. I just knew that I have to write the book, and then it will be taken care of. And to my surprise, I I got to know that you know you have to pay loads to get published. Uh, because i'm not you know a known person i'm not a celebrity so that time i got to know i have to pay 2 lakhs 
or I have to pay a lakh to the publisher and then they will publish it. So I didn't want to, you know, pay to get published. So I decided that I'll go and go ahead and self-publish. And that's the path I took up. And now publishers are coming to me that, you know, we want to, you know, republish your book. So I want to tell everyone that roadblocks are going to be there. One of the biggest one is, you know, how do you go ahead and publish it? Uh, next is, you know, while writing also, there'll be, I had a lot of doubts. Uh, in fact, for Kiss of True Love, uh, I had doubt that, you know, people will start judging me because it's romance. And I come from a very traditional family. And then, you know, what people will think about me that, you know, what am I writing? So I had my, you know, such kind of fears uh, while going ahead to write and publish uh, fear of, you know, I'm not good enough. Uh, I always thought, you know, uh, probably someone can write better than this. But then I realized that this is the story, which is, you know, only I can, I can tell. Okay? Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their own unique voice. And I realized that my voice is unique. Mm -hmm. Obviously, someone else can, but it will be their story. It won't be my story. Yeah. So uh, that's how I overcame that, you know, fear. I also realized that people are judging me in any ways. Okay. If I write I, or I don't write. So my husband gave me that confidence that just go ahead and publish it. Don't think much because in any ways, you know, how many of your friends and family are actually going to read it? They are not your target audience. So uh, that's how I overcame, you know, that fear of, you know, judging people will judge. People are actually judging me anyway. So I just shoved up that uh, fear. Mm -hmm. uh, writer's block uh, while writing nine I did have a writer's block but then I took a break for some time and then came back and you know the story then uh, went smoothly so okay okay and what would be your advice to anybody who wants to become a writer just write don't doubt yourself uh, actually doubt uh, have confidence and trust in yourself that you can do it and only you can do it the way you can do it. So even if others can do it, but the way you can do it, only you can do it. So just go ahead and write it. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. And um, how, how, uh, if somebody, as you said, you uh, are a coach. So what basically do you do, do, you know, like what kind of, uh, how do you help people write to write? Yeah, so uh, I have multiple uh, workshops and courses. Now, from my experience in the writing and publishing industry for the last four years, I've realized that, you know, some things work and some things don't. So that's what I've put up into how do you actually write a best-selling story. So there's a separate course on, uh, you know, learning the foundations of fiction. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, how do you actually go ahead and write a book in 30 days? Yeah, 21 days. So I have, a you know, a very... Uh, a small group of authors who are really committed to write within a month. So I coach them. That is like time-based uh, challenge. Okay. And the other program I have is on publishing. Uh, so for authors who have confidence in themselves and they don't need coaching on writing, but they need help in, you know, publishing. So I help them in publishing. So that's how uh, I help them. And very few authors I take, I don't, help everyone to market their books, but uh, you know, uh, very few authors who I think that the content is really good. I help them market their books to become bestsellers. Okay. Okay. And uh, yes. So before ending the session, what would be a special message to anybody watching this? Okay. So uh, my message uh, to everyone is uh, read a lot. And uh, because uh, every word, you know, every thought, every, uh, what you read is transforming you. Uh -huh. So if you want to transform your life, uh, read books. And if you want to transform others' lives, write books. So words are really, you know, you, words are the easiest, fastest way to impact anyone. Yeah. So read to transform yourself and write to influence, uh, to influence others. So that's my message to everyone. Okay, so yeah, wonderful for uh, being here. It was my pleasure having you and a wonderful session, a lot of things to learn and a lot of things to know. So yeah, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Lakshit. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Thank you.